glomus jugular or highly vascular tumors arising from the ear knowing the anatomy will help you understand these tumors better the ear has three parts outer ear middle ear and inner ear inner ear middle ear and most of the external ear are within the skull base bone known as the temporal bone the temporal bone forms the outer aspect of the middle skull base the internal carotid artery which takes pure blood to the brain passes in front of the middle ear the blood vessel that takes away the impure blood from the brain passes below the middle ear the facial nerve which controls the facial movement passes through the middle ear cranial nerves controlling the speech and swallowing lie medial to the middle ear glomus tumor usually develops in the middle ear it causes initially deafness tinnitus and bleeding when the tumor enlarges it infiltrates the facial nerve and causes facial paralysis later it damages the lower cranial nerves that results in voice change and swallowing difficulty later it surrounds and invades the carotid artery and jugular bulb and extends into the skull and press on the brain surgery is the treatment of choice for these tumors Radiotherapy is recommended if the patient is unfit for surgery or if there is an incomplete resection or recurrence after previous surgery. As I mentioned earlier, these tumors are highly vascular and bleed excessively during surgery. To reduce the bleeding during surgery, angiogram is done before surgery. Identify the blood vessel that supplies the tumor and block it. It is known as embolization. and is done by an experienced interventional radiologist the first picture shows pooling of blood in the tumor the second picture is taken after embolization that shows no pooling of blood in the tumor following our scans taken before and after surgery showing complete removal of the tumor 